Hi, it's Kerry. Visit my farm and learn about animals. I have kittens, rabbits, sheep, a lamb, goats, llamas and alpaca. My Texas Longhorns. Can you tell me how many kittens in today's video? A sound her piglets, that's so sweet. A peacock and two turkeys. There's the farmer. My favourite pot-bellied pigs and the Hungarian pig. My dog Sam. Give a thumbs up if you like farm animals. The Texas Longhorn Bull. Its horns grow outward from the sides of the head and span up to seven feet, which is more than two meters. The Texas Longhorn developed naturally from wild Spanish stock mixing with the free-ranging domestic cattle of settlers. It eats a wider range of grasses and weeds than most other cattle, which does less damage to pastures, which is important. It has a natural immunity to diseases and parasites and comes in many different colours and patterns. Please help me get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing and sharing my videos with your friends. Thank you. Texas Longhorn Cow The cows have a high reproductive rate and give birth to calves yearly for up to 15 years and make very good mothers. They keep a watchful eye over their calf and will protect their young from any danger, especially dogs. Texas Longhorns are gentle cattle and are easy to handle and control. Just watch out for the horns though. <laughs> Texas Longhorn Calf. The calves are very small and fawn-like in appearance. They are usually on their feet and nursing in about 10 minutes after their birth. You can see just the little stumps there where the horns are going to grow. Calves usually stay down and lie quietly for a week or two before actively following their mothers. In a herd, if there are several calves resting on the ground, a babysitter cow will stay with the calves washing over them while the other cows graze or drink. This is my classic sow with piglets. A baby pig or piglet weighs about one and a half kilograms at birth and will double its weight in just seven days. Pigs are very clean animals. They keep their toilets far from their living or eating area. Even piglets only a few hours old will leave the nest to relieve themselves. The peacock. The name peacock actually refers to the male of the species. Females are called peahens and a group are called peafowl. Babies are called pea chicks. The Indian peacock has some of the brightest feathers but the peahen is a drab mottled brown in comparison. The male needs its bright feathers to attract a mate and the female needs to be able to blend in with the undergrowth to protect herself and eggs from predators. The Indian peafowl is most commonly found in zoos and parks. <laughs> the turkey. Individual turkeys have unique voices. The sound they make is a gobble. They recognize each other by their calls. Like peacocks, male turkeys puff up their bodies and display their elaborate feathers to attract a mate. <laughs> turkeys have 5,000 to 6,000 feathers. The long fleshy object over a male's beak it's called a snood. Turkeys are intelligent and sensitive animals and are highly social. <laughs> the pot pig. 
It has a tough black skin with very little hair which makes it sensitive to the sun and in the wild they will wallow in mud to stay cool and protect their skin. They have short erect ears and a short snout for foraging. It also has a sagging underbelly and very loose wrinkled skin. A true pot belly pig has a straight tail that attaches high on the rump. If the tail curls at all, this is a sign of crossbreeding. <coughs> the Vietnamese pot bellied pig is a smaller sized pig that originated in Vietnam and is now found worldwide. This is a female. They are rather plump and can vary in colour. They have poor vision but an excellent sense of smell. She can smell something there. And great hearing as well. They like mud holes and water because they can't sweat. The pig snout is the most important tool for sensing what is around them and for finding food. The Hungarian pig is also known as Mangalika or Mangalitsa. It has a thick coat of curly fur or hairy fleece that makes it look much like a sheep. It was originally bred for its lard or fat. With their warm woolly coats, the Mangalitsa can live outdoors all year long. As the pigs age, the fat content of the meat rises. My 3D sheep. This is a sheep I've put together earlier on. I really like these 3D puzzles and this was so tricky because everything's the same colour apart from the little face there. This would be a female sheep which is called a ewe. female sheep is called a ewe. The merino sheep originated in Spain. Merino sheep are known for their fine high quality wool. The wool coat on a merino sheep needs to be sheared at least once a year. Merino wool is finely crimped and soft. Wool is a natural fibre and clothes made from wool are fire resistant. Woolen clothes also stay cool in summer and warm in winter. The Merino Ram. A ram is a male sheep. The Australian Merino is bred mostly for its heavy fleeces of fine quality wool. More than 80% of all sheep are pure Merino with most of the remainder being part Merino. Today Merinos are still regarded as having some of the finest and softest wool of any sheep. Pole Merinos have no horns or very small stubs known as skirts and horned merino rams have long spiral horns which grow close to the head. The merino lamb. Lambs are born in the spring. The ewes mostly produce just a single or twin lambs. After the birth, the ewes like to lick their newborn lambs clean. Most lambs will begin standing within an hour of birth and are able to stand and nurse from their mother pretty soon after that. <laughs> the billy goat. This is a domestic goat. This is the male version. Notice the backward pointing horns and the beard there. The beard is like a tassel under the chin. They live in herds and every herd has a pack leader. Goats are smelly due to a musk gland on the back of the head. They are strong bodied mammals with horns and cloven hoofs which means a hoof divided into two. Nanny goat. A female is called a doe or nanny goat. A male is called a buck or billy goat. Goats are herbivores. They have very sharp teeth and can demolish vegetation very quickly, often things they shouldn't be eating. 
Their favourite food is grass. Many domestic goats will also eat trash, house plants or any other item they find lying around. <coughs> the baby goat. Baby goats are called kids. Female goats give birth to one or two offspring in the spring. Within minutes of being born, the kids are up and walking around. At three to four months, the kids are weaned. <coughs> ah, this is one of my mini goats. There are two types of goats. Domestic goats, which are raised and bred as farm animals. And of course, the mountain goats. <coughs> the alpaca. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and have been bred specifically for their wool. Some have a fleece-like coat and others more like dreadlocks. Alpacas chew cud like a cow. They eat hay or grass and need fresh drinking water. They are shorn once a year, usually in spring. Alpaca wool is very soft, strong, warm and light and comes in grey, fawn, chocolate, brown and jet black. The alpaca baby is called a career. They are generally between 15 and 19 pounds or 7 to 8 kilos at birth and are standing between half an hour and one and a half hours after birth. Usually alpacas don't kick or bite but they are very good spitters because alpacas chew cut and the spitters regurgitated green grass and smells horrible. The llama. Llamas are herbivorous mammals. They eat grass, ferns and hay. They only need a small amount of water. They live in South America in the countries of Peru, Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. They became domesticated animals in Peru about 4,000 to 5,000 years ago and are one of the world's oldest domesticated animals. Llamas are related to camels but without the hump. Here's another llama. Llamas feet have two toenails and a soft leather like pad on the bottom and they are often used to carry loads. They are covered in wool, not hair, which can be used to make clothing, blankets, hats and scarves. A baby llama is called a career. Llamas are social animals and live in groups called herds and communicate with their tails, ears and sounds. Remember to tell me how many kittens in today's video. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. And remember to stay for the fun ending coming up. Fun starts. To subscribe, please press or click the colourful Super Fun Reviews button. To watch any of the videos or playlists, just click or press the one you're interested in. Thanks once again.